My name's Ben and today we've got this lovely 2019 on a 69 registration BMW 520D Touring to show you around. Uh, this particular example is backed up by a full BMW main dealer service history. It's presented in bluestone metallic which is this sort of almost grey with a very small tint of blue in it with black leather interior and contrast blue stitching and we'll walk around the car point out some of the options as we do so it's an m sport version of the 520d so that means you get the sort of slightly sportier front bumper sections with these big grills down in the corners here obviously bmw's iconic kidney grills which you'll notice on this generation they're actually closed at the moment and they are active kidney grills so if the engine needs cooling that will open up automatically front parking sensors in the front bumper led headlights as well we've got the twin spoke in sort of uh, metallic gray to match the bodywork uh, twin spoke 18 inch alloy wheels as well with the m sport logo in them just down the side there and then again part of that m sport is these cool side vents on the bottom of the front wings there and then if i open the door all black window surrounds and black roof rails as well which again just adds to the look of the car and you'll have a look at that black leather interior with the blue contrast stitching and obviously as you can see at the moment as well also blue ambient lighting which is configurable from within the car and we'll talk about more of the interior options as we get around the driver's side illuminated m entry door guards down the bottom there and then obviously being a touring or being a five series rather there's lots of space in the back so very practical car easily get five adults in this car no problem at all and I actually think as a Touring, it's the better looking version of the Fire Series, in my opinion. I prefer the Tourings over the saloons. And then coming around the back, one of the great benefits of it being a Touring is you've got this sort of two-stage boot, if you like. So you've got the hatch, uh, which Five Series are famous for, so you can just easily access and grab things out of the boot if you need to. But if you need to actually get in the boot itself, you've got a power tailgate, which you just press the button and that will lift itself up. And then obviously full access to the boot from within here and a bit of extra space underneath the boot floor on both the front and the back there. And that holds itself up on a gas strut there as well. Very handy to have. And the button up here to shut that down. Rear parking sensors as well. And then obviously being an M Sport, the uh, exhaust pipes on either side, the big sort of square exhaust pipes on the back there. And we'll jump inside and go through some of the interior options for you. So starting on the driver's door card, uh, this car has got the sort of aluminium style trims uh, on the door cards and across the dashboard sections. And then you've got the ambient lighting strips just above that. And at night time, it is really nice ambient lighting. It feels like a very premium cabin to be sitting in. All the contrast blue stitching throughout the leather across all of the door card there as well. It's quite dark blue, so difficult to see it over the camera. Electrically adjustable door mirrors and then obviously electric windows, as you would expect. All automatic LED lights, as we touched on before. Keyless start, so I'll turn the car on, just foot on the brake and push the button on the left-hand side there. And then we've got the M Sport steering wheel. One of my favorite steering wheels in all cars. I just love the thickness of it. It's a really nice chunky steering wheel, big shift paddles behind it as well. And then multi-function controls on cruise control on the left-hand side and multimedia controls on the right-hand side. We've got BMW sort of uh, digital, but also not digital if you like cockpit. So it is digital, but it's analog style. So you've got traditional dials in the center there. And then probably the most important option on the car, difficult to see on the camera, but there's a heads up display. You can certainly see the cutout in the dashboard up there. Over to BMW screen, we've got BMW's gesture control, so you can do various different gestures at the screen and it will control the screen without touching it. It is also touch screen, so you can just flick across or you can use the wheel down here, whatever you prefer. BMW's own sat nav system, which again is very responsive. BMW are very well known for their infotainment systems being some of the best out there. If I put the car into reverse, we've got the front and rear parking displays shown on the screen there. Lots of different driver assists you can adjust through that button and then your dual zone climate control, heated front seats as well, three stages on both of those. We've got a wireless phone charger under the armrest here where those blue lights are so you can just lay your phone in there whilst you're driving and it will charge. Different drive modes, sport, comfort and eco and then lots of storage throughout the car under the armrest here, glove box, more storage under there as well. And then I'll just turn the car off, jump outside and summarize for you. So as I touched on at the beginning, we've got a full main dealer service history from BMW, 63,000 miles from new, and a lovely, lovely example of a 520D Touring. My name's Ben, I hope the video's helped. Thank you very much for watching.